Hello and welcome back to a Jammy Jams, Jammy Jams part two where we discuss the duality of INFP. Why? Because <clears throat> it's early morning and I'm tired and I'm trying to motivate myself. My voice sounds like an old man. Okay, so here's the deal. <sighs> the duality, it's, it's uh, in a nutshell, I would say the self-awareness makes us realists, but also we have all the emotions. So it's a realist that has all the feelings about being all the situations that we process. So it's good, but it's also terrible because here's an example. <clears throat> I procrastinate like most INFPs. And uh, I have to head back for a six hour trip today. And uh, normally that would be enough like to get me like hyper focused and do what I need to do. Well, upon heading back home, I have to worry about, well, not worry, I have to process about this huge unknown tropical storm in the Gulf affecting us where I live, which is probably going to bring tons of storms and stuff. So I'm, I'm already getting like news notifications from where I live about the grocery stores and people spazzing out and groceries flying off the shelves. And so I know that's not a headache I want to deal with when I get home, which means I have to go grocery shopping. It would be who of me to go grocery shopping before I leave, which means I have to travel with extra groceries, which means I then have to probably find a cold bag situation, which is fine, I can do that. But then I also have the groceries for the road trip home, which I have to do, so, right? Those are the right birds, they say, right? <laughs> Grackles, anyway. So this morning I have to go to the grocery store and I have to get things that I have to put myself in the mind frame of when I'm back home. What do I want to have at home that I don't have, want to have to worry about going to the grocery store during a storm? I also have to have one of my teeth extracted on Wednesday. So there's just so many things that I have to plan for. <clears throat> I'm not liking it. So in that situation, I would probably just like buy all the things and then figure it out. But I have to be fiscally smart. So there's just so many things in play. Luckily, I'm in a good mood, mood this morning. I don't feel completely tired, even though I probably look it. So, <clears throat> oh, and luckily also I'm systems oriented because of like the areas of growth that I've had to go through. <clears throat> um, so I'm very systems oriented. I'm able to be very systems oriented. So I can, I can do this. I just have to separate it in like one category to another. I have to break it down even further. So <clears throat> I have to make a list that's like, what do I want and need for the ride home? So I'm gonna get like some grapes, like easy accessible foods for the inside of the car that are healthy. Some frozen uncrustable sandwiches for the kids, some drinks. That way we don't have to spend a bunch of money at like fast food and stuff. And we can like kind of focus on just getting home. And then I have to think for the next couple days. So I'll probably just end up getting going to Costco and getting a bunch of grapes because they like grapes, you know, like at the house. But I also have to get pull-ups. And so I'm like, do I just get like a pack of pull-ups to like last me like two or three days? No, probably not. Because then there's the situation with the tropical storm and the grocery stores. So I'll probably have to go spend more money than I was planning on and more space in my car than I wanted to because that way I'm sure... I'll be fine on pull-ups by going to Costco. 
So now I'm like, hmm, I'm planning on spending more money than I wanted to spend. But see, the realist is like, well, you got to do time or money. Like, that's what it is. And energy. And there's, there's always an opportunity cost that you have to weigh. But then, like, your emotions catch up and you're like, this is crazy. <laughs> ah, I don't want to think about this first thing in the morning. All the things. So you have to learn to, like, rein your feelings in about all the things and kind of disassociate and not feel that. Because is that going to be beneficial for me? to get out the door and have a good last morning with my parents. No, it's not. It's going to make me like freak out and like feel defeated and then just want to like curl up in bed. But I can't do that because I've got things to do. <clears throat> That's the INFP part. So I'm going to go get coffee now before the baby gets filthy playing with a shovel in the dirt in the backyard. <laughs> and by baby, she is like almost three, so. Just so you don't think I have like a six month old that I like dropped off in the garden somewhere. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys have an awesome day. My voice hasn't woken up. <clears throat> Do you feel that way? Are you a realist with too many emotions? A realist with real emo with too many real emotions. <laughs> Not a good thing. Everything in in good measure. Have a good day.